Hello everybody, welcome to Game 8 of Geordie Gore, um, the, well this season's Game 8. Um, I sat the niggled garda, so just got one guard zombie, but obviously still two on the whites. Just block, blodge, block, block, agility 4, that's really good isn't it, the agility 4 there. Um, up against Targaryen Tantrum from the stream, he's got lots of blodge, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blodge. And three more dodge, so it's going to be a pain in the ass to get his guys down. But he's only got 11 players, and he doesn't, he can't afford a wizard thanks to that sacking. And with 14 players, should be able to foul some men's, hopefully. Exciting. Ah, he's gone for the twelfth man. I mean, that's fair. He could have gone. Could have gone an apo, couldn't he, or two babes? I don't like the two babes. I think I'd rather have an apo and just apo a, an early KO than have two babes. To be honest, I'm a giant. Oh shit! Hello, Valene. Hello, Zansavre. Hopefully this is better. No idea. Just receive, try to kick his ass. Get some damage with a claw frenzy. Could work. Sorted it, thank you guys. <laughs> At least I know how to fix it then in future. Okay. Wow, he's living dangerously. He could get surfed here. Not that I've ever done it before. Maybe he's got three dice in the middle. Bit all in here. Bit crap, really. I didn't need those three guys there. Should have um, moved one of them. Ah, yeah, that was a bad setup. There you go, first thing you need. What can I do? Clock 
Claw doing something outrageous. down here. <laughs> oh fuck, giving up blocks. It's the fantastic way. Have to occupy men's a little bit. Four girls, pretty amazing, isn't it? <sighs> Why not take tackle on one of the whites instead of guard? Because guard's better, I would say. <laughs> oh, VIP die kicks. Hello, Senai. In before Blitz, yeah, I shouldn't have, um, I shouldn't, that was a really horrible, horrible setup. I mean, you just need guard more, don't you, so that your, your wolves can hit people. That's what I think. If, you could go, and even then, I wouldn't go, I would go my blow first rather than tackle first. If I was going to make a tackle guy, I would go my blow first. I guess I could have put him there, but I want him for the three dice he stands up, which I mean, I guess he's just not going to stand up. But. Dirty Dingo makes the focus dodge on anyway. The dirtiest of the Dingo. Make you punch in, make the cage over here. Push him into the 3D. Don't even need a 3D. Do you need shithead zombies though? Foul anybody, unfortunately. 
So even even a team with loads of fouls just don't get the foul if if they've got to fucking protect the ball. Like I can't just not protect the ball to fucking foul, can I? I guess okay, he could have made a back catch corner, but he's just better up here. I think. Gotta go for the dodge out, haven't I? He's, he's just gonna get served on that ball really well. Go there, so he's not so exposed, I guess. Oh wow, the, this is like a formation in White Dwarf one time. They called it like the Undead Funeral March or something, and they had this kind of crazy formation to protect the ball. It was just dumb. And that's what I've heard. Pretty good. Oh, hello, Rattan. Yeah, I didn't know I was going to get a ton of shit ton of dodge spam. I mean, yeah, wrestle girl, yeah, wrestle girl. But I mean, it was just so far down the line, wasn't it? You know, that's the thing. I took guard on these these ghouls ages ago, <laughs> so you know, I didn't. I took guard on probably like game three. Rather than thinking, oh, I'll win game 13, I'll, game game 15, I'll really need tackle. Um, it's asking a bit much, isn't it? I mean, tackle's one of those skills that when you need it, you really need it. And when you don't need it, it's the worst blow imaginable. So, um, it's just horrible. It's just horrible because you have to have it. And it's just so... It's just so bad <laughs> when you don't need it, but then when you need it, you really fucking need it. I know, it's a funny old skill, isn't it? I don't like it. I don't like it game balance-wise. I think it's a bad skill. I think it's a bad, bad skill in terms of game design because it's just so essential yet so useless at the same time. Essential in certain matchups and useless in others. That's what I was trying to say in English. <laughs> Struggle with it sometimes. <laughs> yep. Just roll pals. And that's the thing, look, with Necro you need tackle less than other people because you've got two frenzy guys who can who can just roll pals, can't they? Yeah, I think tackle should have one extra thing, yeah. Like maybe pro. Put tackle and pro into the same skill. You know? Like, just don't even have tackle. Um, I, like, remove pro and just have tackle be pro as well. That'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Like, things like that. I think combining, like combining kickoff return with Hail Mary pass. And, uh, and like, have it, um, no, that doesn't make any sense. Pass block and kickoff return. You know, and so so like they're good at they're good at reacting to things, so that they can you know they can kick off return and they can do that. Because I think that might be too strong, though, ain't it? Because it stacks. I guess you could take away the stacking aspect. I guess you could take away the stacking aspect, but um, obviously, yeah. If if you were to buff dwarves, you'd have to you if you were to buff tackle, you would have to change dwarves. Obviously, <laughs> you can't make changes in isolation. Anyway, ever, but um, right. So he's just all mensing me. So this is gonna be fun, isn't it? Against fucking guys you can't knock over at all. I'm gonna make this block up first, because on a pow, he would have freed him. But, but of course, couldn't be that lucky. Maybe blitz him. Just roll pals. Simple. He can go over to here, so he can go here. Oh no, he can't. Shit. Right, there's a dodge with dodge. So it's not that bad. And there's two guys up here anyway. I 
could try to dodge him out to get a hit from the arm. Dude, might as well reroll because I got four. I couldn't move the zombie first because he was in a tackle zone. Oh no, I could have done, yeah. Oh, I could have. Fucking hell, I don't know. It was first thing in the morning. I thought I couldn't move him first. Because I thought about moving him first and I thought, no, I should block first. But he's kind of, yeah, he could have made this cage there, then I wouldn't need that dodge. Could have made a 1D. I don't know, it's first thing in the fucking morning, man. I've just literally got up and played all that, so. GW has a long and proud history of carefully considering any change. I think diamond tackle and tackle would be too strong, that's the things ants have. And also, you've got to remember that elves take tackle, elves win the most, and they take tackle earlier than everybody else. So if, if you make it good, you are buffing the elves. A bit, I don't know, it's just tough. Tackle and tense. It it's a lot of dice rolling though in real life. It would be it would be okay on here. It would actually be okay because most of it would be strength three. So like it would it wouldn't be ridiculously overpowered. Yeah. And plus obviously it couldn't stack then you could have to take away the stacking of it. Because if you had it stacking, if you had two guys who tackle and dodge away from the ball for minus two, like you would with um, Prehensile Tail, it'd be absolutely horrible. It would fuck over Stunties in particular, wouldn't it? Stunties could be immune to tackle, I guess. Um, but then... But then would it make Skinks too strong and stuff? Right stuff could be immune to tackle. Morning Blob Skills McBlub. Hello, Zappling. Oh, I think you would just have to kill Tail. That's the that's the thing. I, I think you would have to kill Tail um, if you were doing that. Um, yeah, I think you would have to kill Tail. The two blessed skulls. Nice. He's only got two rerolls. Wow, he, he eats the skull. I'm surprised about that, to be honest, because he's in a pretty strong position in that. Um, that's pretty bad for him, isn't it? I think I would reroll that. Um. I think you would have kept the, the, you know, like the tempo advantage, if you like, if you'd um, re-roll that. I think it would have been worthwhile. Don't rely on another dodge with dodge. He'd get fucking surf, wouldn't he, from after the frenzy, so put him in the cage, leave him there. Could go for the five plus dodge and one no assist foul. <laughs> five plus four plus two GFIs for a one assist foul. Go on, why not? It's fucking rowdy as fuck, isn't it? I'm alright, broken, fair enough. I mean, fair enough, it was a bit... He was just, he couldn't really go anywhere from where he was, was he was being movement four, and obviously with the two witches around, it was um, it was sad times for him ever standing up, basically. It was going to be really hard for him to ever stand up. I 
Well, what I mean is, Valenic, more people would have tackle, which would already make life harder in stunties, wouldn't it? If you, you know, if you make it a better skill, more people take it, which makes it harder and harder on um, yeah. stunties. That's what I'm trying to say. Um. Um, wrestle on a wolf. Well, it's good in a way. Like, Cheney's not bad, but I think you can't take wrestle on a wolf just because your star is Cheney. Um, unfortunately, he's got the power, so it's not... No, he's not. If you, if you draw... Oh, God, not that much value, eh? <laughs> well, <laughs> well said, Valene. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! If he'd been pushed, though, if he'd eaten a few pushes, he would have been great, wouldn't he? He'd have been absolutely great if people, um, if people had, um, if he just rolled pushes on him a few times, then it would have been great. More than one in ninety-nine times, isn't it? When you think about it, five plus four plus dodges is only one in six. Then the two GFIs as well. You're talking about one in one in twenty times he'd break AV or something, which isn't even bad. Yeah, you know, block my ball. <gasps> oh man, I should have checked. I didn't know if that was a witch elf or not. If I'd been a witch elf blitzing, I mean, you'd been idiotic to have blitzed with a witch elf draw, I guess. But I should have checked to see if you if you'd been idiotic and flits with a witch elf. <laughs> the armor break into minor strength is um, is less than one in ninety nine. <laughs> but you know, one in twenty to do what I wanted him to do. Ah. Uh, Okay, I didn't even see him say BRG. BK G equals. <laughs> the armor break in the minor strength is 144 just on the armor break. Effectively. 100, because it's 1 in 6, isn't it? To, um. 1 in 30. <laughs> Wait a second, no, I don't know. Uh, let's work it out. One in one in six to Kaz. Then fifty fifty for it to be then one in four for it to be a perm. Um So one in twenty four. And that must be times six. Oh yes, yeah, because he's armor nine, that's why I was saying one hundred and forty four. So yeah, after the armor break you're one in twenty four to perm. So, 24 times 20-ish. And there you go, you've got your answer of how likely it was to perm the witch with that foul, but... Could have happened. BKG equals equals, oh man. Yeah, I think you've got to take block on a, on a wolf. Especially as your star is Chaney, and it is kind of useful on Chaney sometimes. So, the last thing you want is is to be down TV and have two fucking wrestle walls. And you don't need them. Right, he's opened up the red carpet to score, but obviously that's what he fucking wants. But it's just so hard, isn't it? Men down against Dark Elves. That's just fucking st Oh, I must have forgotten about him last time. It's so fucking stupid, isn't it, being men down against Dark Elves. Like, what the fuck do you even do? It's so, just so horrible. It's just so fucking... <laughs> it's so fucking shit and horrible. I'll just start the turn with one dice and hope, hope for a pow. No. Unbelievable.
Nine versus nine, BGL. It is overwhelming odds. I'm, I don't even be watching the game, but I don't know how I, how I stole that half out there. Unless I turn into God. I don't think I can stall that out. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I guess I'll put the um, question on the line here just to discourage line shenanigans. Guard on the side, there's no blood. Care factor zero, yeah. <laughs> yeah, care factor is absolutely zero, but he played well. You know, like, just Manzing. Manzing is just brutally effective, isn't it? Against Necro especially, because they've got no... They've got no fucking agility. And, you know, even when they've got dodge on four guys. It's not great, is it? Yeah, also, yeah, it skilled him up. Even though I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> but if it was if it was proper like if it was if I properly cared about the RCC, that's still the best play because just skilling up your men's is more important than winning, which is just so fucking dumb. I can't stand it. I can't stand that about these leagues. That literally him scoring there and me losing is better than than the ghoul scoring and me winning. Which is just so fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's good, isn't it, Dynamo Hunters? <laughs> yep. Yep, it's good. That's Blood Bowl for you, though, isn't it? And that's why I quit the UK BBL, because I thought I'm not going to fucking do it. You know? If they're going to be that. If the admins are going to be that shit, and the management are going to back them to the hill, which obviously, why wouldn't why wouldn't you back somebody working for free? They're obviously admins. They were always going to back the admins 110%, weren't they? Try some crazy shit then. Four rerolls in three turns. <laughs> Very handy. Very handy getting that extra reroll. He's actually not done bad, has he, that flesh golem there? Come on, get a push on him. Big push on the fleshy now. So just casting on every block. It's crazy how it seems like. It feels like flesh golem armor gets broken loads. Yeah, hello, Bucket Bong. Yeah, we've got to get in these. 
<laughs> Me and Targaryen Tantrum have to play this game that neither of us care about. <laughs> oh, shit. I think I don't want to use it and get... I think this place is a better place to stand. Get some armor broken again. Okay. Just feel like flesh golems get their armor broken too much. I'd make a post, a forum post, but Dode would just rubbish me. That does suck. Yeah, we could have, we could have come to an agreement or something, I guess. But um, no, play it out even though. And even though it's hard to care about the result. <laughs> At least I get to foul the witch off next turn, eh? There is that. <laughs> that's that's something good. I'm surprised you went through that way instead of down the middle. I would have, I would have put the uh, white and gone, gone down the middle a bit. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true, Valene. That's crazy, isn't it? That is crazy. That is definitely something to bring up in the, uh, in the forums. That's outrageous. I never thought about that. Yep, that's true, Dynamos. That's true. Very true. <laughs> now, nah, Pedro Jack, this is this is tough. I won't be at my best. <laughs> Even though it's it's only just morning here in Germany. Sorry, Deutschland. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's the Aussies, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, PCO. <laughs> oh, the funny thing is, that might as well have happened. 
You know, that's how that's how much integrity the league has now. That might as well have happened. It was that fucking much of a joke. And then the admins, rather than apologising to me, basically said, "I couldn't. I still think you're a cunt. I just can't prove you're a cunt." And the fucking management backed him to the hill. <coughs> so it's just a fucking joke, isn't it? I would, I would recommend everybody, whether they're enjoying it or not, to fucking sack off the UK BBL. What an absolute load of shit, piece of shit, fucking league it is. Disgusting. So there you go. Bums Valera. Oh, that was a good, good play. That he was in for it. He was in for a fucking cruising for a bruising there. <coughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, what's the word? I can't remember. Um, can I surf him here? Pow. All right. I'll just try to pow him. And then I think I can surf him here. Okay. Not, not, with a, not without a pow. Um, it would have been hard though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. And then he, he would have to come around. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Then he 1Ds, then he goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one d surf. Uh, <laughs> it wouldn't, wasn't really the most realistic of um, actions, but there you go. No, I'd rather dodge as well, I didn't even see that. What's that noise in the background how you're under attack? It was the um it was my girlfriend sneezing to death and me not seeing because I'm died, because I'm an asshole. I'm also trying to concentrate on playing blood ball, it's not easy, is it? Yep, of course. Of course, can't roll three plus. That, that's the bane of, of, of necros, isn't it, you know? And I've got to make another one here as well. A GFI, even. Two plus. Right. This guy. Wants to roll some dice. And so does he. Three plus, you can do it. Nice one. <laughs> if I were going to try, it would have been now, but you didn't. I had been 4 1 <laughs> UK BBL is dead to me, so. I know Necro seems to just have like the worst parts of Chaos, doesn't it? Predominantly armor eight, strength three, agility three. Without the advantage of gold, I'm just getting out bashed by dark elves. Why not? Like it's not even that crazy to get out bashed by them. That's why I don't think I'm that big a favourite against the Breaths or humans, because an armory bash team is just it's already nearly as dumb as no Norse, isn't it? Like if you bash you should be called the rocks. The only thing is claw fucks you. 
<laughs> Hello, VIP Orientis. <laughs> yeah, I am the underdog here for sure. Absolutely, because he's got he's got fucking four bludgers or whatever, five bludgers. But I'm right. This can happen. This isn't even crazy. Like it's not. It's not even crazy. The four removals that he's made. It's well within like the realms of possibility. It's just that um, that's the thing. That's that's always the thing, isn't it? With I'm right, you're much more likely to face this sort of situation. So therefore, you might as well fucking have a jelly fall and blood. <laughs> Is the way I look at it. <laughs> but they do have claw palm, don't they? Don't necro just get claw. <laughs> Jimmy always the underdog on Mona. How many of you now bastions are there? Orcs and dwarves? But the thing is... The thing is... Um, Claw shreds them, doesn't it? That's the thing. So there's kind of no point using an armor 9 bash team because they be everything becomes armor 7 anyway. Sorry, Fash, you're not a VIP. You know how to be a VIP, though. Plus into the cage, 1D. That's as exciting as it gets, isn't it? Or I could 6 plus into a 2D, I guess that's that's better, isn't it? I bet if I would have rolled that without using this touch yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought it was funny, his standard, his standard loop at turn 8 attempt, you know, 5 plus pass in the, in the, in the fucking sunshine. And then fucking ball goes out. Gets thrown back to the guy in the end zone and he stores. Just the literal opposite of my one where it went back to the guy who threw it. Pretty, those two clips pretty much sum up me and Luke, I think. Oh, no. I was getting banged on and it was an absolute desperation move. He was, get, he was banging on and it was just an absolute luxury move. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Well, obviously, having him on defense would be really, really good. But um, on the other hand, why should he die in a meaningless game? I can have him for the next game. Probably going to lose anyway, aren't they?
That's exactly true, Dr. Mama Bosco. That is that is just the long and short of it. That's why I look unluckier than Lupac, etc., isn't it? That's what it is. Because he's trying those things so you notice when they work. He's trying them more than I am. And his opponents are like, you know, needing needing to roll a double one to fail and so when you do he looks lucky and stuff like that. And um Yeah, that's it. If I need two plus to score every touchdown, you know, one in six, I look and one in six times I look and look, you don't. Know. If he needs a five plus to look and to, to score, he never looks unlucky, he only looks lucky a, th a third of the time. So so like that's that's kind of it, isn't it? Obviously he's not that to that extent, he's not that bad. You know, he's he's not he's not bad at blue ball at all, but um that's just the reason why I think he looks luckier than I do. In nearly every game, the only way I can lose is if I'm desperately unlucky. I think. In most games on Champion Ladder, the only way I can lose is if I'm desperately unlucky. So therefore, you notice being desperately unlucky. Just need to um make a play here on um, Crusades of the Lost Idols. Get Talia in to um, magnify then Stormrider. Okay, what does he say? I should try and get it in the end zone. I lost on a 1 in 36 to Dez, wondering if I should risk that shit again against you. Shit, I think I messed up. Oh, fuck it. Got blocked. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> He's got blodge, hasn't he? That's all you can say about that. He does indeed have dodge. Blodge. Brilliant play there, hitting his guy with um, armor 7 with claw. You can't teach skills like that. Ducky, no games after this.
Yeah, the pass itself was just a 5 plus 3 plus, yeah. So the pass should have succeeded, like, relatively, um, relatively frequently. But it's just funny that his one went to the guy in the end zone and my one went to the guy who passed. That's just funny, isn't it? That's just, that's just like, that's pretty funny, I think. this one game right now. <laughs> Oriel Eds is the merciful. <laughs> that's probably what it was probably what the game came down to, wasn't it? Oriel is the merciful. Um if he hadn't been then that Agility 5 wouldn't have been around to have done things. Say. I have to say, I'm really, really happy that um, Targaryen, Tantrum, and I played this game. <laughs> it's kind of been really, really fun. <laughs> oh, God. All I can do is kill his witch elf that he doesn't care about. Seems good. like I should have done before. Saved a zombie from getting surfed. That's why that white went all the way over there last turn was to stop the other zombie getting surfed. <laughs> Ori Lens is the merciful. Oh man, how crucial that could have been. But I think the main thing was he just had to score, didn't he, on turn four and he got two. That was obviously a bigger, bigger effect.
Yeah, you'd have had to have um, GFI'd to blitz from the right direction. So, should have brought around the um, movement 7 guy, block it off, and then blitz from the. Then you blitz from the right direction if you wanted to push the ball carrier out, but you just needed to put the other guy in. Um, I can't remember how I did it, to be honest, Mordudster. I literally can't remember how I did it. Um, it involved admin wins. I think I just got somebody in to help me and just admin win loads of games. Um, and then sack people who had loads of money. Oh, yeah, with with the guys that were there, but I think you would need a GFI, that's what I'm saying. I think you blitz from the right square, but you hadn't filled in the hole, if you see what I'm saying. Because otherwise, to blitz from the right square, um, yeah, exactly, there's a free space in my push. But it, the fact is, if you blitz from, like, you know, you blitz from here, and, and then you so you needed to fill in this... You blitz from where this blitz is standing, so you need to fill in this square. That was the right square to blitz from, as long as this was filled. Because to blitz from this, you'd have had a GFI. But you could have just filled it without making GFIs. <laughs> mo, dirty mo. The truth comes out. I don't care about the cutlets. The truth is out. Mo, mo. God, this is grim as fuck, isn't it? Get a card in. Mm -hmm. Wow, pro KV. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can you? I, I mean, I can't believe it. I don't know if you guys can believe it, but that was an armor break that wasn't a stun on turn 11. Pretty good. On the AV7 guys, yep. He's just got so many, hasn't he? That's the uh, that's the difficult thing. He's just got so many on the seven guys. He was on right. But he's on his He's just the best dude, isn't he? Agility five dodge. Like that's the thing. The 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 witch elves are his best players, and that guy's is a good player. So Oh man, 8.82 million percent goal bonus. That's pretty good for me. How many idols do you have, Fash, or anybody else that plays? Crusades of the Lost Idols are about the same time as I started. Alright, yeah. I guess I deserve that after actually removing somebody last time. On turn 11, get another removal. Ten V ten. Had a had a um had a, had a man's advantage for a fucking turn. <laughs> I 
had a man's advantage for a turn. I'm on 3.72k idols now. Pretty excited. Level 22 efficient crusading. Oh no, you haven't VIP Hessian. Yeah, I forgot there's going to be a chance match at like um, some time today, isn't there? My um, my quarterfinal opponents are playing. Let's have a look at the um, at the forum. Why oh, you roll the one? Yeah, dodge. They do not. Champion ladder PC. Demon Ted. Two. Two p.m. in the CEST time zone. So a couple of hours for the chance match. Seven idols. <laughs> ah, thank you. Thank you, VIP yeah, Navy. Um, I forgot about... You know, I could have just... I forgot to check chat. I just looked it up myself. Oh. Not a lot I can do here, is there? Go for the surf, eh? <laughs> I was gonna push him to isolate him against this fucking zombie. Didn't even get the push. It's not actually very easy to surf, is it? When <laughs> I say not very easy, <laughs> basically impossible. Okay, in the corner near V7. You've got to have these pro, stat, pro strats. Quit now and you only waste a two. Don't quit now. <laughs> Still clawing AV7, guys. Yeah. I mean, he's what is a two plus three plus two plus to score, obviously. But there you go. <laughs> the best part of Crusaders of the Lost Idols is not having to play it. I think it's pretty great. I actually really fucking like it. I've got 735 chests to open. <laughs> oh, man.
Oh god, yeah, Blood Bowl Clifford game would be amazing. But yeah, I guess that's what that's what Twitch gives you. Yeah, exactly. You can play without playing. I think it's actually a great game to watch football. <laughs> um, is he blitzed? I don't even know. Yeah, he has blitzed. Oh, he hasn't activated that guy. Oh, come. Oh, no, he can't. He could have served, but he just pushed him in the wrong square because he thought I was going to... He thought... <laughs> He just naturally assumed I wasn't going to be retarded, but um, I outfoxed him. <laughs> I outfoxed you by doing a dumb. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny though, isn't it? Do it dumb. Get rewarded. It's like everybody I play against. <laughs> oh, feels amazing, man. Feels actually amazing. Oh, wow. So many ways to do this, I guess. Another guard here. And there, he can block him. One, two, three, four. Double GFI doesn't seem so amazing, does it? So let's block him first. Man, rolling all the powers now just to rub it in. <laughs> oh, holy shit. <laughs> this is literally what it's like for me every every game in Carl. It's it does actually feel amazing for it to be on the other foot. Right. He wants to foul him, doesn't he? Could one dice? Into a one dice. He could have just surfed him. That would have probably been the better play. I'm not going for the ball. Well, I'll do his block now. I see what happens. <laughs> all the pals and all the stuns in one turn. That's crazy, isn't it? Right, I think I've got to go for this then. Because he's, he's pinned against the sideline against the stand firm, though, so I don't even need to re-roll it. <laughs> oh, the professional fowler. That's crazy. That that KO, well, just armor break, obviously. He appoed it, but that was huge, wasn't it? Otherwise, he just fucks off and passes it to him. 
<laughs> yeah, of course you would assume, of course Targaryen Tantrum would have assumed that I wouldn't have been completely fucking dumb as fuck and obviously would have used dodge, so that's fair enough. Yeah, all of a sudden, all of a sudden not getting the wolf served through my stupidity otherwise you would have been um, knocked down but it actually worked out amazing you should have been you should have been served because i was so bad at blood bowl <laughs> yep there's a chance there's a chance now a reroll every turn two movement eight guys both of which leveled would really like the uh, ghoul on right now. <laughs> oh, 100 levels for emo werewolf. Oh, baby. Guard wedged in there in a good spot, isn't it? This guy, this guy's got guard. I mean, he's got dodge, so the three plus two plus dodges out aren't even crazy, are they? Failure one in nine. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Dingo. If he makes that, oh fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> oh god. It's fun, isn't it? Blood Bowl's a fun fucking game, isn't it? It wasn't even that hard either. TBH. Right, knock this guy down. Four GFI, GFI, blitz from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, got him, got him. This is easy, this is easy. Just need. Just need a three dice knockdown. Well, actually, just need a push. Obviously, gunning for the knockdown because it's more fun. That's in the way, isn't it? Got to get in the way a little bit. That's disappointing. It's only one GF5 in. One, two, three, four, five, six GF5. So actually, this guy can go here. He can just not GFI at all. I guess that's better, isn't it? 
Movement 8, pretty good, as it turns out. Bellinsaw's blodge. Dirty fucking dingo cunt. What a motherfucker, eh? Yeah, it wasn't that crazy. I know it was. That's the fucking shit thing about elves. Whatever they do, it's not even that unlikely. Like, literally whatever they... Whatever anyone does is... is the worst action in the game is fucking 30%, isn't it? Because it's a 6 plus with a reroll, basically. So... With who? Carl Ancelotti. My fucking grandma runs onto the pitch and fouls a lot. I mean, that, that's the thing, isn't it? This is why it's hard to fucking foul, because you need people to fucking do stuff. I completely went all in on... Um, be, that was that was a bit crazy that guy but then if I don't if I don't do this then he just dodges out here moves him over and goes around that side so mm, yeah but still maybe that was bad but they were assisting blocks and stuff this one didn't do a lot he could have GFI'd at the end I guess Elves. Roll some two pluses. And <laughs> now all of a sudden, I guess I overcommitted, especially with this guy and this, this guy and this guy. But then if I don't, then he just runs down this way. But then I've got the up, these two. I guess he can't screen off this side, whereas he can screen off this side. Could have gone around. Yeah, of course, wolf safety would have been great. Blodge wolf safety. That was my initial plan, but then I thought, you know, I need the I needed the reroll. I needed the rerolls to um to do stuff, didn't I? That is the problem. If he hadn't dodged that out, I could have, uh, <laughs> I could have uh, pushed him to there and then chained, you know, dodged the guy all the way around and then chained him in there and blocked him and then gone for the hit with a zombie. He's dodging the first one. Get banged on. Preemptive, preemptive GG. There is two of the scatters are good for him. Oh, he gets, the, he gets the one that's bad for him. <laughs> he can still 2D me, though. Um, unless I just score. No, I can't. Yeah, I can just score. All right, then. 
Let's go for the just scoring with no rerolls play. Ah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, six dice in the ball total, yeah. Yeah, six dice, six dice in the ball total, just not in one turn. What was that? Was that guy not in range? One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Oh, yeah, good, just blitz, blitz and foul the witch elf. Ah, uh, yeah, didn't, yeah, fair enough, fair enough, could have just. Could have just knocked down the witch and couldn't score me. Fair enough. But I want to score myself for Yeah, six oh yeah, six in one turn, yeah, that's true, Carl. Yeah, six dice in one turn. Yeah. So eight dice on the ball. Never knock the ball over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> eight dice total. But six dice on that particular turn, yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell. Banged on it. That's kind of unlucky, I guess, in eight dice to have not knocked over the ball. Sorry. And then, in fact, in ten dice now, oh, um, although it resulted in a serve, I've had ten dice at the ball carrier and never rolled a power. Come on, fail pick up, scatter to the wolf. Oh, not there. Seven, eight. Then 2D him and hope for a good scatter so that he can pick it up and pass it to the wolf. I mean, I guess that's that's all I've got. Is it worth just making it a one dice? No, I guess it's worth doing it with him. Get a good scatter somehow. Don't know where it'd be. Oh, not there. Oh, no. Also, that was really good because he's got a tackle zone on the two interceptors, hasn't he? Ah, oh, failed. Can't throw it. <laughs> that would have been a miss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't remember if you can if if there's a notification or not, but um. Oh well. Yeah, it would have been easy if you had. But you know, I wasn't really watching. Yeah, of course, of course, Target and Tantrum, you're, you are outplayed by my bad play. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. That was that was awful. I'm not using dodge there. Obviously, I would have. I should, I'm sorry, using dodge. I absolutely should have. Um, absolutely should have used not used dodge there. But I just wasn't really looking. And um, to be honest, um, I wasn't really looking, and uh, <laughs> and therefore I, I, I thought it was somebody else blocking, and I just didn't think I didn't think the surf was on. Uh, but obviously, I was completely wrong, and should have been surfed. Four three. There's been a lot of draws in this league, hasn't there? I'm playing the dwarves last. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm playing necros last. Um. Already played drawn them. There's been a lot of draws this season, hasn't there? But still, second in the league's pretty good, isn't it? That's not bad. That's not bad for 
for a giving zero fucks kind of season. But then I guess the the, the other big guys weren't given were given zero fucks. If only Bal Balsha quit the week after he killed my wolf as well, which is disappointing. If I'd got the win against Balsha, um, then obviously would have been top and not had a dead wolf. But never mind. Three levels, exciting. This will be the double, of course, because I rolled it first. No. I'm a shitty zombie. So I, I guess maybe it's dirty player because I've got so many players now. And tackle one game late. That seems good, doesn't it? No, a sidestep. Sidestep. And dodge there, probably. Right. So yeah, probably, probably dodge, sidestep, and dirty player, I guess. Um, and then scum a wizard for the last game. Why not, eh? Why not? Well, not even scum it because I'm paying 100 TV anyway. Um, right, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.